Welcome back. We got all the functionality we need to like or dislike posts. Now what I want to do is I want to update our, our DOM. I want to update what we actually see here because right now we get no way of seeing if we like or dislike this post. I will start in the dashboard to update it when we reload this page. As I said, we also want to implement the functionality to update it directly after we get back the, well, uh, the, the, the info that we successfully finished our AJAX request. But I also, of course, want to display the correct thing when this view is loaded. Now, this will be a, or will probably look a bit more complicated, but I will explain detailed what we're doing now. I'm replacing this like text here with a Laravel template expression. And I will say of user, which is the currently authenticated user, I want to access all the likes this user did. So all the likes this user did, yeah. And then I will again search for a post ID, which matches the post ID of the current post we're looping through here. Now I want to say one thing right away. This is fine for this app to do it like that. A better way for a bigger app would certainly be, besides other options you might have, to do this in a controller and just added this posts array to attach an info to each post that, well, this post is liked by the currently authenticated user or not. So basically what we're doing here, you would have to attach to each post element in the post area in the controller to have all the logic there and not do it here inside the post or this view rendering. But it's fine for now. And I really just want to show you how, can, how you can do such queries inside the view itself. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting, if it exists, the like for this post here of this user, this authenticated user. That is the same code as we ran in the post controller here, where we got, well, the like or the info if this user liked or disliked this post. So if we get something back here, we know, yep, this user is actually liking or disliking this post. Therefore, I will then copy this and now this is the part where it certainly is not optimal. So as I said, you might want to outsource this to the post controller. So now I'm um, doing this, but now I'm accessing the like property of this like we got back. And I can't do this here at the beginning because we got, it would get an error if Laravel is not able to find a post, therefore we have to, or a like, excuse me, therefore we have to first check if a like exists before we can access this like property on this like. And if this exists, now we are accessing this property and if this is equal to one, we know the user likes this post. Therefore, I will then output, let's say, you like this post. Otherwise, I will output like so that, well, our link says just like. It gives us the option to like it. I will have another else statement here, which also says like in the case we did not find a like on this post in the first place. So I will save this, reload, click like, reload again you like this post. Click on this and it's back to like. This is basically what I want to happen. Now we'll copy all of that and do the same here for the dislike. But of course here I'm checking if this is zero. So if it is a dislike and then I say, let's say you don't escape it with a backslash, escape the quotation mark here. You don't like this post or say dislike, okay? 
So let's load this again. And I say dislike, I load this. If you don't like this post and click on this, I am again back to neutral state. I can say dislike, if you don't like this post. Now I click on like, reload. And you see, if you don't like this post, change back to dislike, but like changed to you like this post. So this works exactly the way I want it to work. Now the next thing is, I want to trigger these changes from the callback of my Ajax request here, so in this done function. So first thing I do is, inside here, I will use my event target, which is just the anchor tag on which was clicked. And I, yeah, I then want to change the inner text of this element. So where it basically says like or dislike. Now what should this be equal to? I will check that if is like, so if we're clicking on the like button, then I want to, well, either rename it to you like this post because we clicked on like when it said like and we didn't already like it, then I want to change it to you like this post. Or if it already said this because we already liked the post, I want to change it back to like. Now I will just check this by using event target again, or and, uh, let me just event target again. And then I will again say if inner text, so it's not inner, if inner text is equal to like, so currently it's saying like, and we clicked on it. So we didn't like it before, but now we do like it. In this case, I want to say, you like this post. The same text as here in the dashboard. You like this post, right? I, mean, I might even copy it to have the same text because it should really be the same as it says when loading this or refreshing this page. Otherwise, I know I can say like, because it didn't have the inner text liked be like before. That means it had to say you like this post, which means we already liked it. We undid it now, and therefore now it has to say like again. Okay? So now this is the first condition block here, where we check if it says like. But this is only relevant if we're in the is like mode to begin with if we already or if we clicked on the like button. Now we define the same for the case that we're in the dislike mode. We're clicking the dislike button. So I will therefore again use event target inner text and check if it is equal to dislike, in that case, I want to say you don't like this post. Otherwise, I'm saying dislike. And that is exactly the same logic as in the like case. We're checking if it currently says dislike. If it does, and we clicked on dislike, we know we're now disliking this post and therefore we're changing the text of the anchor to you don't like the post. If it didn't say dislike at the beginning, we already disliked the post and now we undid it, we deleted this entry, so we changed the text back to dislike. Let's save this, reload, click on you like this post and you can see it changes back to like without me reloading this page. Click on like again. And yeah, we can toggle between these two states. Click on dislike, you don't like this post, and so on, click on like. Okay, now you can see we're not changing back the dislike text in this case. This only changes after refreshing. Certainly not what we wanna do. Now to fix this little problem, I will add another statement here where I check if I clicked on the like button. And if I did this, I want to change the other anchor. So if I clicked on like, I know this is the first anchor element. 
So I will get the next element sibling, which I know will be the dislike anchor. And I will change its inner text to dislike because I know I clicked on like, so it doesn't matter if I undid it or changed it from dislike to like. This button always has to say dislike in this way or in this case because we'll never be able to like and dislike a post at the same time. Otherwise, if I did not click on the like button, I will also get my event target, but now it's the, it's the previous element sibling, so the anchor tag before the dislike button, which is the like button, and I will set this sibling's inner text to like. So let me save this, reload, like this post, okay, dislike, like, dislike, so now it is a switching correctly. And this is the like functionality built in with Ajax, with the updating of the DOM without refreshing the page, and with the functionality to not only like or not like a post, but like, not like, dislike, or not dislike a post. So this is this, and I will see you in the next videos. Bye.